Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Chef Pam and this is Cooking with Chef and More. And today we are getting ready to make a holiday drink that is a favorite of many. Eggnog, guys. Yes, you heard me right. Eggnog. Homemade, made from scratch eggnog. And guys, if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade, made from scratch food and dishes, subscribe. Subscribe and tap that bell so you'll always be notified every time I upload another amazing, delicious recipe because I've got a whole channel full of recipes and food that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay guys, let's get started with our eggnog. The main ingredients you're going to need is milk, heavy cream, egg yolks, egg yolks, some cinnamon, nutmeg, and salt. And if you wanna add a little something, something to it, you can add in some brandy or some rum, but you don't have to add that in. If you don't wanna add that in, you're just gonna leave it out. It's that simple, guys. But today, I'm adding a little something, something, guys, and I'm adding brandy. I love to add brandy. All right, all right, let's get busy. Okay, guys, the first thing we need to do is make sure we separate our eggs. We need six egg yolks. I've already separated five. I'm gonna separate one for you guys. And just try to make sure that you don't get any white into the yolks. It's okay if they bust, a couple of mine bust, no rhyme or reason here. You're gonna mix it up, at least in this particular recipe. So you just wanna give it a good whack in the middle if you can, so that you can evenly put that yolk on one side or the other, and just let the white drip down. It's messy, it's messy, but it's well worth it, guys. Just let as much of it drip back. You wanna just take that yolk back and forth until you get as much of that white out of there as you can, guys. Get as much of that white out of there as you can. We don't need that white in there. And sometimes it gets stuck hanging on, but that's okay as long as it's not in that yolk part. Okay, and there we have our yolk. Okay, guys, don't be wasteful. Save your egg whites. You can either use them in another recipe or you can cook them up and have egg whites for breakfast. So we're gonna set these aside. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna whisk up our egg yolks and our sugar until it's nice and fluffy. Okay, now you can whisk this by hand. I'm going to use my hand mixer today with the whisk attachment. Okay, our texture is now light and fluffy and that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, set this whisk aside. Okay guys, on medium heat, we have our milk in a saucepan and to the milk, we're going to add our heavy cream. Our brandy. Just a pinch of salt. Half teaspoon of that nutmeg, guys. Now you just want to stir until it barely simmers. Okay, guys, now is where we need to temper our eggs so that they won't scramble. So we have to slowly, slowly add in this hot milk, milk mixture to our eggs. We got a whisk, we've got a whisk so that it won't scramble. So we're gonna take a ladle here. Careful not to waste it. And as we start pouring it in, you need to whisk. You gotta whisk, you gotta whisk, you gotta whisk. Okay, 
Okay, you gotta keep doing this until almost all of the milk mixture is gone. You just gotta keep whisking hard and keep ladling it in. That's what you need to do, guys. So I'm going to get this all combined and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're adding our last little bit in here. And now that we have all of this in here, we're going to add this back into our pan. Okay. Now we're going to put this back. Whisk it a little bit longer for a few more minutes. And just until it starts to thicken. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, so it is starting to thicken now. So what we want to do now is remove it from the heat. Want to remove it from the heat stir in our vanilla just about a teaspoon full give it a good stir Now we are going to pour it into our pitcher, cover it with plastic wrap, and let it cool. It will thicken as it cools. Then we will be back for our taste test and presentation. Let me get this poured in here. And as you guys can see, it did not quite fill up my particular pitcher. So you can always double the recipe and make a little more if that's what you need. But unless your pitcher has a top to it, you want to cover it with plastic wrap. Cover the top with plastic wrap. The handle is in the way. Make sure you get it covered really nice and tight. Okay, guys, we're going to put this in the refrigerator, let it cool, let it thicken, and we'll be back. Okay, guys, our eggnog has cooled down, so we're just going to pour a little bit here. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Yes. Awesome, 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 and amazing, guys. This smells so good, so good, so good. Yes. And if you want to garnish it a little bit with some cinnamon sticks, you can either use ground cinnamon, guys, or you can just grate a cinnamon stick. I like to just grate it fresh, guys. Grate it fresh over there. Yes, amazing, amazing, delicious. A little bit more. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, guys, we are getting ready for our taste test. Okay, guys, our eggnog is all made. And I am getting ready to have me a little taste of it. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes. Cheers. All right, all right. Oh. Mmm. Oh my goodness, the freshness of this eggnog, guys. I can't begin to tell you how wonderful this is. 
the nutmeg. Oh my God, the vanilla. Mm, mm, mm. You can just taste it all in here. It is delicious, guys. You have got to make you some. Guys, mm, mm, mm. Oh. Mm. oh my goodness, if you are not subscribed to this channel, guys, go ahead. Come on, you gotta make you some. Subscribe so you can. Tap the bell so that you'll always be notified every time I upload another delicious, amazing recipe, guys. Give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments. You know I love chit-chatting with you guys. And for all of those who are already subscribed to me and always supporting me on this channel, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. And for those of you who don't know, I also have channel memberships. Join the channel because I have amazing perks for all my channel memberships. But guys, whether you join or not, whether you subscribe or not, I appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out in my kitchen with me. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.